Hey everybody, it's Laura. Welcome back to another B6 insert plan with me. I am still in my dailies with the Dutch door from Jasenia Printables. I will link them down below. They are undated, so um, it's kind of nice because you can use them whenever. Um, these go in my Harry Potter TN, and you guys are probably like, why do you already have stickers down? And that's because I'm using a whole lot of stuff today, and I kind of wanted to get a feel for what it might look like and then also this washi like in these little areas is super tedious so um because i haven't been showing you guys like um like i haven't shown you putting washi on these other days i haven't filled this week out obviously <laughs> i well a couple of days are filled out but not Thursday, through the weekend. Um, so I figured I would do it off camera ahead of the video since I knew what I wanted. So these are little tiny skinny washies from Target, I believe, from the dollar spot like last year or something. They come out with different washies and I like these because they're glitter that doesn't come off. Um, they don't stick great to the roll, like this will pop up all the time and get tangled in my collection but it sticks pretty well to paper so I don't have a lot of issues once it's down and then this strip of washi is from a creating and co kit if you guys remember um, the video with this artwork it's fairly recent I'll link it up at the top um, but I also might use these kind of washi stacked washi scenes maybe 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 um because it's like the forest near hogwarts um so i put that down and then um the kit i'm actually using is from let's planet and it's this like buffalo check pattern um that's really really pretty but um the the plaid washi was like on the sides of these strips and i didn't know if I was going to put it there. Hopefully this will end up looking okay. Um, and then I put one date header down just to see what it would look like there. Um, but I'll do the rest of them. So I did red and gold every other. So the red is always on this side and the gold on this side. Um, and then on the back here, I put leftover washi. Well, I put the whole washi strip here and then cut it in leftover washi here. And then the leftovers from this piece are on the top. And then I put a strip of gold and then that other gold washi. Um, I think Patrice sent me this washi card. I think it was Patrice. It was either Patrice or Crystal. Um, but it has this gold bow washi which is really cute so I stuck that at the top there. Um, I think gold bows are very festive for making things look kind of Christmassy. So we have a lot of other stuff. I have kind of some Hogmeade's things and then I'm also going to bring in green with some full boxes from like Slytherin stuff. So this is going to end up green and red and gold and I'm hoping that it's not ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hoping. I'm hoping like the fact that it's Christmassy is just taking over. So we'll see how it goes. Um, <sighs> yeah, we'll, we'll play it by ear. So um, the Slytherin stuff is from, oh gosh, this giant kit from Little Paper Prints. And then I have a whole stack of other things as well. Um, like I said, this stuff is from Let's Plan It. And I put the date dots on from... Um, the little paper prints kit actually. They're slightly big for the size of the date cover, but I think it'll be okay. Um, and I'm just layering these. I'm using the dots to help me make a straight line. Or so I pretend. <laughs> um, I think that's like the very, very tip of the W or something on there, but... I think we'll be okay and yeah I'm just kind of experimenting it's kind of fun to play around in your planner and like if you hate it it's only a week of your life right <laughs> um, and I just use this for memory keeping for the most part especially the dailies because um, there's a lot of room to write things so it's the memories that count, you know, not necessarily how pretty it is. It needs to be functional for what you're doing. Okay, so these have more colors than just red and like that brownish color, but that's okay. 
I don't, I don't have any like plans after that section. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to do now. Um, I do have these little checklists and I think because I don't have, well, I had green to-do lists too though. All the green stuff's gonna be glossy also. So there's that weirdness. Um, so these are the boxes I have. And then I do have some checklists. I have headers there, headers there. So what do I have? I don't have any to-do headers that are green, but I have today headers. I have three today headers. And then how many do I have here? One, two, three. That's not helpful. I have four to-do headers, but I don't have any to-do headers that are green because apparently I use them. Goodness gracious. I don't know. Like, why are those all different? Why can't they all be the same? Why can't they all be today or to-do? Like, I don't care which one they are. I just want them all the same. Um, so maybe I'll skip headers completely and just put the checklist at the bottom, like right under the date cover. What did I do with them? Maybe, maybe let the date cover kind of act like a header. I don't know. I love these little three heart checklists in this planner in particular. Oh, this will be cute because they match. I think I'll like this. Okay. I'm okay with this now. Oh, that date cover is crooked. That's okay. Well, I guess it's not crooked. It's just not lined up correctly. Okay. Cruising right along. I can deal with this. Nice and simple. Um, two more. I guess you get eight. That's okay. So how are you guys? Oh, we need to talk about the movie. Okay, so this week is talking about um, Order of the Phoenix, which I enjoy. It kind of takes a lot to watch Umbridge, but, you know, <laughs> they're reclaimed in the end, so it's okay. So at the beginning of the movie, I really like that Mrs. Fig is like in on everything and Harry's all like, what? <laughs> it cracks me up a lot. <laughs> um, wait, what are the other boxes I'm using? Oh, right. Okay. So I don't know, you guys, this is going to be weird, but I'm kind of okay with it. All right, I'm going to start with this Hedwig looking box down here. I think that's where I put my boxes last week too. Is that weird? Um, no, I guess not. Um, so yeah, I like Mrs. Fig <laughs> being all in on everything because of Dumbledore and Harry's like, what's going on? How come I'm not told anything? Um, but he just sort of rolls with it and I like how the order kind of like barges into his room and he's all like ready to fight them because <laughs> again, he has no idea what's going on. Um, I really like Tonks. She's adorable. I love Lupin, even though he's not like in the movie a ton, but I like that he's still in there. Um, I like... Uh, when they go to the safe house, like the orders house, I like that, like, Harry's all, like, in wonderment again about, you know, the house opening up and moving and the muggles sitting there and <laughs> not noticing and stuff. Um, and he's always just, like, got this look of awe 
about magic on his face, which is great because I know I would be the same way. Like, what? Magic is amazing. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, and Harry seems serious. Is all the feels, you know. Gotta love that he's got his family. I like that Molly and Arthur, you know, like, treat Harry like family. Um, which is awesome. I like that he's so loved. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm going to put on these days. Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to put here. Oh, I've got one more. I forgot. I, it's shorter, but I have one. Drink the wild air. I like that it worked out that I didn't put a quote box next to a quote box. That would have been a little much. <laughs> okay, perfect. So that was the rest of my green little paper prints boxes. Um, I'll try to link up here the video where I used those the first time. I did a Slytherin spread, I believe. Um, let's see. Um... I, when they have to go to the ministry for Harry's trial and they take the like visitor entrance or whatever, <laughs> I love Arthur um, being all fascinated with, you know, the muggle world and like the subway and <laughs> all that stuff. It's so funny. I think this is a little bit long, so I'm going to trim that edge. Um, and like having to put the coins in or the, the card in to get like through the subway, uh, a turnstile and all that stuff. <laughs> um, when they go to a Hogwarts, I love that Sirius, you know, is in like his dog form and comes to <laughs> see Harry off. It's great. Um... I'm pretty sure I can't fit both of these in here without overlapping the washi, but I think I'm okay with that. Because then it will be nice and full. So we're just going to put these back to back and whatever gets covered gets covered. But it's very woodsy and pretty. Definitely a different vibe than, like this woodsy but I think it still works I hope again we're going with it and we're we're trying things out <laughs> um let's see I see this little lantern deco and I just can't resist I have to put it in here because that is too cute we're just going to blend all the like foresty and Harry Potter stuff together. Epic. I love it. I love it so, so, so much. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to take boxes to cover those labels because I, well, no, this is where I always struggle. I always think it's like my other planner or my other inserts where I don't have room to write on the days, but I have room to write on the days. So these usually are things to do and don't forget. <laughs> um, mum, 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 mum. It's really neat when, like I said, when Sirius is at the train station and like shows Harry the picture of the order from the last time and like, um, you know, they talk about the memories and um, the long bottoms and the other people and stuff like that. Like, I think that's really special. I liked that a lot. Um, Because it's just, it's nice, you know? Okay. This kit is so hard because I want, like, enough of everything, but I don't have enough of everything. You'd have to use all four colors, and I don't want that. I want, like, eight of everything red, eight of everything yellow, green and blue separately. Um, but I have eight 
total if I use the red and green. So we're going to do those up on these boxes. I don't really need eight. I need seven, but you know what I mean? Because this red isn't too far off. So we're going to do green, red, green like that. It's a little off. It's a little more burgundy. This is definitely more red. Again, we're going with it, you guys, because there's no little things in that, like, personal size Let's Planet kit, which is fine. That's why we pull things together. That's a little crooked. Okay, and then I need green, red, and green. So two green, one red. Um, I'll put the green or the red on the bottom to keep the bottom pattern going and a green on top because again this is this says weekend so I need like Saturday and Sunday both on there so we'll do it like that I guess technically that means that Friday and Saturday are both green but you know, when you look across the bottom, you don't want green, green. That would be weirder, <laughs> in my opinion. Okay. Um, Umbridge is horrid. Definitely my least favorite character, which is pretty common. But she plays her part so well. Like, you legitimately hate her. <laughs> and she's just despicable and awful and horrible. And I think it's just, like, she does such a good job acting. I don't even know who that actress is or anything. Um, the detention is horrible. She just like thrives on being evil and torturing children. And oh my goodness gracious, her office is hilarious with the, the pink and the cat. You'd think she'd be like the sweet grandma type and no, no, no. <laughs> um, Definitely not. Definitely not the grandma type. The Weasley's products, like that's hysterical. I love that they like start to shine. I wish Peeves was in this movie also. I think this is the one where he was like really funny in the book, torturing Umbridge, and it was like epic. <laughs> um, but, you know, what are you going to do? So my friend's birthday is on Monday and I'm just trying to find something to mark it with. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh, I have a green present. We'll do that. Okay. This is my friend's birthday. He's one of my best friends from college. Okay, I love Luna. I wish she was in more of the earlier movies. She's so sweet and pure and just so creative in her thinking. It's so special. The Room of Requirement is totally awesome. Um, like, you just gotta love things like that. <laughs> um, 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 um. I need to mark Pilates, but I don't think one of these boxes is going to fit in here. So I think I'm going to white out. Or I could put them up. Maybe I'll put them up on the checklist part. Or like this part. I think I'd be okay with that. So Monday. Pilates. I'll do all of them while I'm at it. Um, let's see. The Thestrals are really cool. The Thestrals are like one of my favorite uh, magical creatures. I think they're totally awesome. And when they're flying um, to London on the Thestrals, like later in the movie, like how terrifying would it be to be flying on something that you can't see? Like Hermione. Like, she doesn't like flying already, and then she's holding on to something she can't see. What? That's insane. <laughs> I just, I don't think I could handle that. Um, I don't know. Too scary for me. Um, I love that Hermione calls Ron, Ronald, the whole movie. Like, she's so, you know, angry with him, but she's really not. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, oops. But just, like, the way the girls and boys interact 
in this movie is hysterical. Cho and Harry are all like smooching and everything. It's great. It's so funny. Um, when after Harry and Cho kiss and then Hermione is like explaining Cho's emotions to Ron and Ron is like, what? One person can feel all that? And she's like, well, just because you have the emotional range of a teaspoon. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's one of my favorite parts ever. Um, Jenny is like super crazy powerful. I love that you start seeing like how awesome she is as a witch, as a wizard or a witch, I guess, um, in that movie. Oh, and I love how supportive they are of Neville and like how much he struggles with like all of his spells and, you know, everything. And then he becomes good. And I just love that they're all supportive of him. It's so cute. Um... I hate the word snogging with all the kissing stuff. If anybody's from the UK, like, do you actually use that word? Or was that just like a movie thing? <laughs> um, I don't, I don't care for it. I need to mark the last day of classes in here somehow. And I'm not sure yet how I want to do it. That's why I'm like not really doing anything because I'm a little lost. I don't know if I have like other functional stuff in here. Ooh, that's a nice flag. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, I had a happy birthday like this. Maybe I'll layer it. That's really cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay. And then we'll put this on the bottom. I think just two lines will be okay. So yeah, do you actually use the word snogging? Like, is that really uh, a word that people use? I don't like it. <laughs> okay, I am back. So what was I talking about? <laughs> um, <laughs> let's get my bearings. Okay, I have last day of college classes, my friend's birthday. Pilates is up here. And I'm marking videos back here. So I think that's everything for Monday. Tuesday, I need to mail a letter to my grandma for her birthday. So we're going to mark that somehow. Um, Okay, so as far as the video, um, when Harry starts having the connection between himself and Voldemort, that's really kind of scary. <laughs> it's pretty freaky to watch. Um, it's pretty wild. Not gonna lie. But... It's interesting, and then, like, doing a clemency with Snape would be terrifying. And then, like, who wants to have all of their, like, private business known by a teacher? I mean, my students do, because they share everything with me, and I'm like, y'all, too much. I don't need to know this about you, <laughs> but that's by their choice, not by my choice, because I try to get them to stop. But they like to share everything, which baffles me. But, you know, you can only do so much. <laughs> um, I'm going to take this Pigeon Paper Company sheet and take a little owl. Because that's too cute. Too, too cute. I love this sheet. This is like the Gryffindor sheet. Um, but, yeah. Got to mail a card to my grandma, and I want to make sure I give enough time to, like, you know, holiday, post, travel. Her birthday's not till the following Monday. But other stuff I sent recently took forever to get there, so we're planning ahead. It's all good. Um, okay. It's so sad when Arthur gets injured and attacked. Um... And then, like, is in the wheelchair for Christmas and everything. Like, 
Oh, so sad. I like Arthur. Um, Grop, 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 <laughs> Groppy is, I don't know. The whole thing is crazy, but it's all good. Um, um I like that <laughs> Hermione is so firm with him. Like, put me down. And then she's like, you just have to have a firm hand. <laughs> oh, so Hermione. I love it. Um, oops, let's do, let's do this. Um, there we go. I was like, why isn't a whiteout coming out? I think I'm towards the end. But that whole part of the storyline is a little, I don't know, like, was it necessary? I guess it was, but it's just a little bizarre. I like when Umbridge gets carried away by all the centaurs that she, like, puts down and hates and is so, like, not racist because I don't know if that would be the right term. But, you know, she thinks they're, like, half-breeds and everything. Which, if you like that kind of storyline, read the book Wicked. Um because that's real interesting. Like the whole Wicked series, there's a bunch of them. It's really interesting. Um, I love when they have the the fireworks, like when the Weasleys put off the fireworks for um, during the owl exams. Because <laughs> First of all, when you proctor exams, like, oh man, that would be crazy. <laughs> You'd be in so much trouble because everything went wrong. But um pretty funny. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And then I love when Professor Flitwick is like out in the, you know, in the open area and he's like, yes. <laughs> and then he like looks around. Um, I think that's so funny. So, so, so cute. Um, because, you know, he's trying to be all professional, but he really is really happy. Uh, I love when um, they're in the forest, Hermione and Harry and Professor McGonagall, not McGonagall, Umbridge, and Umbridge is like, tell them I mean no harm and, you know, that kind of thing. And Harry's like, I'm sorry, Professor, I must not tell lies. I'm like, yes, stick it to her. I love it. <laughs> what is your favorite part of this movie? Because I'm like, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, the kids are awesome at the Department of Mysteries, even though like, what are you doing there? Like, why are you there? I don't understand. But <laughs> I think it's still awesome. Like, they're still pretty, pretty amazing. Um, they hold their own. I like that Hermione does a little bit of like magic where she doesn't... Um, speak. That's always impressive when she's like flicking her wand and the crystal balls come crashing down the prophecies. That's awesome. I don't know if I'm really going to read with my students on Friday. I might give them a study day because it's the day before finals, but, or the week, like, like finals start on Tuesday of the next week, but we're putting it in anyways. Just for funsies. <laughs> so, yeah. I didn't put it in all of my planners, but we're going to put it in this one just for whatever. I can always write study in it because if they're studying, I might be reading. We'll see. <laughs> um, car insurance bill. I marked Pilates. And then my boyfriend might be going to North Carolina to get a puppy um, on Sunday, but I don't know for sure. And I don't know if that's the right date, so I haven't marked it in my planners yet because I'm like, wait, is that really the day he's going? So I'm a little confused. Okay, I want to put these like Hogsmeade scenes in. Um, just trying to figure out what I need to white out. I think that will be enough.
This is from Pigeon Paper Company, and she is completely epic. Like, her artwork is just phenomenal. She's such a talented artist. Um, definitely go give her some love. She is battling cancer and finishing up her chemo, or just recently finished her chemo, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Scary, scary, scary. Um... I want to put this other lamp post in, but I'm like, I don't have anywhere to put it. <laughs> um, maybe I'll put the mischief managed like above here just because it looks a little plain. Although I typically put the dates in there. I guess I still can. Should I put it on here? No, we'll put it there. Okay. And then I can always put December 2018 like around it. Mm, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Jenny is also awesome at the ministry when she's like just super, super strong. <laughs> I like that they show that about her um, because she's not really given her full due in the movies. You guys look how cute these are. They're Christmas characters, Harry Potter characters from Jalen Paper Co. Like, look at Dumbledore wrapped up in the lights and Hagrid as Santa. It's so funny. These are cute, too. They're from Velia and Tama. They only come in Gryffindor, so I have a ton of them, and I'm like, when else am I going to get to use <laughs> all of this red and green stuff together? So we might toss her in here somewhere. Because she's cute. I love her. I love that shop. Such a cute character shop. Um, I have other deco. I just don't know what I want to use. Some of it I'm like, I don't want to use it at all. I just want to hoard it forever. Okay. I don't think I'm going to put the Christmas characters in quite yet. Maybe. They might make their way into the spread by the end. Because <laughs> I'm not going to lie, they're super cute. I like these little like leaves and stuff in here too. Um, just kind of like a little, little touch of green. I'm just trying to make everything balance, you know, and I might put more washi down here, but hmm, I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay. I guess I should run you through my week. I'm not done talking about the video though. Bellatrix is awesome. I, you hate her just as much as Umbridge, like, right? Like she's pretty evil. Um, but I really like her. She's an amazing actress. I actually know her name. Helena Bonham Carter. Um, but yeah, she's, I really like her as Bellatrix. She's quite good. Um, and I don't know. Um, when Sirius dies, spoiler alert, <laughs> um, and they show that whole like scene of him like screaming and in anguish and Lupin grabbing him and then letting him go and all of that. And it's like basically silent, you know, like they don't, sh you don't hear him screaming. I thought that was totally genius. You feel so much sadness at that part. Um, and I think it was more impactful than had they like let you hear Harry screaming, which is really interesting. Um, very clever cinematography in my opinion. Um, and then he's like angry. I really love when, um, Dumbledore and Voldemort battle, like that's super interesting. And when he turns, like he shatters all the glass and turns it into, sand so Voldemort you know shatters all the glass and like aims it at Harry and Dumbledore and then um Dumbledore turns it into sand and Voldemort looks so defeated I'm like yes stick to him um but yeah <laughs> that's that's my thoughts on the video I really really enjoy it um it's it's a really really good movie and I don't know let me know your thoughts like I said I I don't have that many more thoughts on it. 
I like it. It's a good transition movie. It, like, leaves you wanting more. Um, but it doesn't feel like you're hanging with nothing to go on. Like, it's a good... It's a good movie. Okay. I think I'm done. I'm done talking about the video. Again, let me know your favorite parts. I will be adding more of those characters because they are too cute. But... Um, let's see. So this section, I never know what I'm doing with. The bubble boxes are Pilates, and then I have dinners up there. Um, this is for classes ending. This is my friend's birthday. Um, mailing a letter to my grandma, and then I don't know other things. Um, I don't know anything Thursday. There might be a meeting Thursday, I'm not sure. This will be for reading if we do. This is for planning and filming, that sort of thing. I have my car insurance bill due. I just put Hagrid in there because it was too cute. <laughs> um, I have movie night with the Half-Blood Prince. I don't know if I'll watch it on Saturday or not, but, um, you know, sometime during the weekend before I film the next plan with me. So definitely watch Half-Blood Prince. It's one of my favorite books and movies um, for sure. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I really, really like it. So stay tuned. Let's talk. Um, and then Sunday... Like I said, I don't know if my boyfriend is going to North Carolina that day or not. He's currently in California, and I don't know when he's coming back from California. So everything is up in the air at the moment. And then I have my video schedule. I have just like a general list that I can use for cleaning or whatever. Um, my habits will be vitamin skincare and foam rolling out my IT band, as well as everything else that is sore on my body. <laughs> I have a priority section. Um... And then like a little weekend section, so I have a little bit of room to like journal about the weekend. And then I have the little Hogsmeade scene, and then I have the th things to do and don't forget. And that is the end of this insert, but I think I will be doing this type of insert for the next three weeks as well to finish off the year. And then I will be in a different planner, which will be in a haul soon because it is on its way to me. And I'm so excited. Oh, I cannot wait to set up that planner. I am pumped. Okay, so that is my spread for the week. Those are my thoughts on The Order of the Phoenix. I really like that book and movie. Let me know your thoughts down below. And look on Instagram if you want more pictures of this. No, never mind. I don't usually post pictures of when I journal. So I apologize that you won't necessarily see any updates of this. <laughs> um... Yes, Half Blood Prince for next week, and I hope you guys are getting ready for your holidays, whatever holidays you celebrate. It's such an exciting time. This time of year makes me so happy, and let me know what you think of, like, the mishmash of the different artwork and the different colors and everything. I think it's festive. It's not exactly, like, pretty, <laughs> but it's festive with the red and the green and the outdoorsy theme and all that kind of stuff, so I can deal with it. Um just because I like that it's festive. So yeah, I'm cool with it. Let me know your thoughts though. <laughs> okay, I will catch you guys in the next video. Hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this. I will continue to have Harry Potter things next year just in a different kind of way. And I'm not sure how much of it I'll film, but probably every now and again. Um, but it's not going away completely like I thought. So Super fun. Okay, I will catch you in the next one. Have a wonderful week. Bye!